we're no. instead are going to talk about uh, the leaked rumors that Greta Gerwig, the director of um, the Barbie movie, is rumored to be being brought on by Netflix to do the next Narnia series. And if you don't know who Greta Gerwig is, this is a quote from her about the Barbie movie. And I think it's in- interesting from my perspective that someone who has this perspective of Genesis would be brought on to direct a movie that has strong theological underpinnings. Here's what it says. The Barbie, however, is definitely the center of the story, talking about the Barbie movie. Barbie was invented first, Greta Gerwig told Vogue. Ken was invented after Barbie to burnish Barbie's position in our eyes and in the world. That kind of creation myth is the opposite of the creation myth in Genesis. What do you think about that statement? Round one. Leave it up there. I got to read it a few times. So what's interesting while you're reading it, Matt, um, I saw a clip from Marg... I I always get her name wrong. The woman who played... uh, Margot uh, Robbie. Margot Robbie, yeah. uh, In which, when she signed on to do Barbie, she said that she knew the movie would be a Trojan horse for, um, you know, the ideals that the director had and which which it was and you know we're not going to spend too much time getting into that so this director is somebody who has these these far left uh hates the patriarchy type mentality um so here we are handing over one of the greatest works from one of the the greatest theological ph- philosophic theologically sound philosoph philosophers oh my gosh man philosophers c.s lewis who you know we watched uh, the chronicles of narnia the other day uh, a couple weeks ago and it was like as a christian seeing it through a christian lens you're like wow you could see all of the christian influence the the not to give away the end of the movie but um you know what happens at the end of the movie just in case anyone hasn't seen it the the kind of resurrection story replayed out, but just yeah. through this this um world of fantasy that it was just a it was a beautiful family friendly no agenda but inspiration and motivation and and good feels and you're gonna hand this over to somebody who uh, has statements like the one that Pastor Jeremy just read I don't know man that's that's really sad to me. Yeah, I, for me, like, I, I'm not surprised. Like, do you remember when they made the Noah movie and it had oh, yeah. nothing to do with, with like, it was just so bad. So I, I will say I have some issues theologically with C.S. Lewis. Uh, I think of he- Of course. Yeah, and, and, and which is okay. Um, I, I think the, the way that he depicted um, Aslan um, paying the white witch- Yeah, the, the uh, ransom. I, yeah, yeah. yeah I, the ransom was to God, not the white witch. But all that aside, this is a deeply theological, Christ-centered um, novel and film that would be made. And I, I find it strange that a, a non-Christian or even someone who would look at the Bible as myth that would even be interested in telling that story. Like, is, is corrupt it. In, Yeah, well... I, I agree. I want to give more... I, maybe I want to give more grace to her. Maybe she won't. Maybe she just, it's a job. Um, but it, if it's too corrupted, that's really, that's frustrating um, from my standpoint. Because even if you disagree theologically with Christianity, um, you can look at C.S. Lewis as an amazing author, religion aside, and telling an amazing story that has stood the test of time. Why can't you just retell that story? And maybe she will, or maybe she won't even be the, um, be held on. Maybe Netflix is watching us right now and goes, "Oh, right, maybe it's a bad idea, and we won't do it." <laughs> Probably not. The, um, the AI aliens are listening. Oh gosh. <laughs> and and here's if you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about GameSpot uh, reported that Greta Gerwig um, has secured a deal, so it's already secured. I couldn't find more info, but uh, to a minimum of two films based on the Chronicles of Narnia. So it may not even be a retelling of true. It might just be in the universe, which even is weirder, in my opinion. But 
True, yeah. It's going to be how the white witch was only angry because of the patriarchy or something like that. Aslan's the patriarchy must die. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's hope, let's hope not. Um, hmm, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's hope. Matt, what's your... Good. Oh, I'm so- <laughs> yeah, let's I can see, I just see... I <laughs> yeah, Matt, let's let's hear you, Matt. I see I see his you face. Know. Like like he just he looks like he's mad to be Canadian. That's that's what it looks like. I love it here, man. It's a great country. Yeah, I know nothing about Narnia. I know nothing. I've I've never read the books. Um so it's just like I wouldn't be surprised if someone's trying to twist a good story, but at the same time it's just I've never watched it. Don't care. I know that sounds bad, but I don't have an opinion or anything like that. I think it's um, just like Lou said in the chat. What's that? Yeah, right. No, 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 not that one. Oh, the, the the, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could get into that one. So, so Brooklyn Lou said, "Barbie." By the way, Brooklyn Lou's my boy. What's up, Bro- Brooklyn Lou? Uh, I I appreciate Lou because he's a skeptic that still watches all the, a whole bunch of Christian stuff. Yeah, I, um, I appreciate. That. Yeah, so it says Barbie is a is a movie and fictional character. I have zero interest in seeing it. Me too. I do not know why any Christians should care one bit about what the movie portrays. So I would push back on that a little bit, Lou, uh, just because the Barbie, like Barbies are for kids, right? And it, it's it has the appeal of a children's movie. And then you bring your kids to see it and the the undertones of it are very anti-man. Men are like the worst thing that could ever exist. Um, and then also the pregnant Barbie is like the worst Barbie that there is uh, in the whole entire thing. The The, the story opens with, um, you know, children bashing their baby dolls and then picking up a, a, a Barbie. And um, there's just a whole bunch of undertones in it. Her activism, uh, you know, her activist leanings are all throughout the movie. So here you, you bring your kid thinking it's going to be like some Sonic the Hedgehog type uh, type fun movie. And then it, it's it's just bananas, uh, all the stuff that's in it. So that's why I would say we should care about it. Just because you could even remove the whole why should Christians care about it. Just why should parents care about it as a whole? You know, bringing your children to see something. You know, your kid plays with Barbies and then you bring her to see a Barbie movie and you're like, whoa, that was bad. So I'm I'm going to push back a little bit, John, because um, I actually... Go for it. I don't know that... Round I, one. Fight. Fight. Um, and I, I don't know that Christians should care, um, but I, I'll even say, like, I haven't seen the movie. I'm going to preface that. I know none of us have seen it. We're reading secondhand because we haven't had the desire. I'm not going to pay 20 bucks for me and my wife to go see a movie, I don't. Really it's seven dollars in Puerto Rico, so just oh, take so take a flight. It'll be yeah. cheaper. It, it might be. Um, from what I've read and what I've seen, people on both sides, I, th- I think a middle of the road fair criticism is um, while men are portrayed a certain way in the movie, there's also this giving over of power to uh, the Barbies, and then that doesn't go well either. So I actually think that there's a, a pretty good depiction of men and women need each other. Now, for sure, there's patriarchy jokes and underpinnings to it. I would agree with that. But I also think the overall pull of the movie when you get through it all is Ken running everything isn't great. Barbie running everything isn't great. Ken and Barbie actually need each other. They complement each other. Complementarians actually should like this movie um, in some, some respects. So I'm not saying that that means you go support it with your money. That's for you to decide. But I do think we don't I I wouldn't even necessarily push back against the Barbie movie as much as I do um, Greta Gerwig's statements about Genesis. And and yes, Lou points out that C.S. Lewis didn't even believe in a literal Adam and Eve. And again, I disagree with C.S. Lewis on that. I think, though, if we're going to portray movies, imagine if The Chosen, which I also don't watch. That's a whole different topic, but was made by people that aren't Christian. That's kind of some of the claim when they say that it's backed by Mormons versus Christians and that pull back and forth. So I think it's that similar thing for me that it, it makes me frustrated that something that is blatantly Christian 
Um, if we're talking about representation, why can't there be a, a Christian director that directs this? Um, shouldn't we have equal representation everywhere, not just whoever was hot? So that's my yeah. uh, my soapbox. I'll step down now. Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you want to see the full episode, click right here. And you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.